you there? Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, just on my way to the Dukes, because uh, we're getting the mower ready. And um, we're getting the turner, hay turner, and the rower upper machine all greased up and ready for action, because we're going to press the button, and it's Thunderbirds our go this week. We're going to start mowing, uh, ready for hay. Uh, weather forecast seems good in our neck of the woods, so uh, yeah, got my sun hat on ready. Uh, it's absolutely scorchio. It is 24 degrees in the cab at the moment. Sun's pounding, blue sky. Uh, so that's it. Um, I managed to get on holiday last week. We had a few days in Anglesey, North Wales, beautiful part of the country. And uh, so I'll, I've got a little bit of video. I'll run that in later on. But until then, I'm on my way to the Dukes and. Uh, yeah, we'll see you when I get there. Lovely, beautiful day, and uh, we're up at the Dukes, and we're unveiling the mower. First time this year, ready for haymaking. We've already lifted the Franz guard out of the barn over there with the Manitou, and uh, we are uncovering the mower. I've got my uh, haymaking hat on, been and found that. Fantastic piece of kit this, real leather, Australian style, keeps all your head in the shade. Well on first inspection it looks like everything's still there because last year this spring broke. Over the winter it cracked and broke and we didn't realise till we unveiled it. So that set us back a while while we ordered a new one. But everything seems to be there. Is that supposed to be folded down? No. no. It went that way a lot then. Yeah, That's it, the mower's on. So uh, we're just going to take it down in the yard, give it a greasing, and uh, then we're ready to go, I think. Check everything over. She's all greased up. We've checked the oil in the bed gearbox. We've checked the oil in the main gearbox. And uh, we're just gonna run it up now and see what happens. Blades of death, you won't want to get your leg caught in that. Ah, oh, work. I 
managed to get on holiday last week. We had a few days in Anglesey, North Wales, beautiful part of the country. And uh, so I've got a little bit of video, I'll run that in. There's a mermaid there sat on a rock. It's quad bike game. It's just like looking in a fish tank. Look at that. It's watching the jellyfish swim. Can you see that? Jellyfish. There you go. Look, there it is. Climbed right out on the end of a rock, me and Buzz, four wheel drive sheet dog, just climbed over this lot, uh, and he's only fell in once. So, uh, stay there. Run out of land. Absolutely stunning. Digging. <laughs> That's it. Horses over there and nothing. Over there is the ferry terminal, Hollyhead, which goes out to uh, Dublin and uh, Southern Ireland. But there's hardly anybody inside, it's unbelievable. Exercising on the sand, and they've even managed to get a good, uh, good crop of silage off this field right next to the sea. Beautiful.
quad bike Jane and Buzz. I don't know who's pulling who down the steps. But uh, apparently, if you look on the horizon over there, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'll try and zoom in. It's supposed to be the Skerries, which is an island just off the point of Anglesey with uh, rare breed sanctuary and things like that. You can see the uh, one eyed three legged eagle and uh, the old uh, black faced puffin. And I'm sure there'll be some pigeons and seagulls and things over there as well to look at. But uh, up to yet, on this wildlife trail, we haven't seen anything. Not even the uh, rare striped faced tiger gull. We haven't even seen any of them. But we'll keep looking, we're right on the cliff top. Following the mountain path, Valderie, Valdera. Right, we've just got to the top of this little hill and uh, there's like a freshwater lagoon in the middle. It's like a watering hole for all the uh, rare birds. And we've got some, uh, some seagulls, a crow and uh, a couple of pigeons I think. No sign of anything uh, that's in danger of dying out or anything, only me, because I need a drink. Another seagull coming into land. Watering hole, there we go. Right on the top of the hill now, looking down. It's uh, it's Scorchiope. I've had to get my hat on, keep the sun off my head because we're miles from civilization. We've got no phone signal, nothing, and uh, just a dirt track and the wilderness behind us. Here comes Quad Bike Jane down the uh, Shaley path. She's only got two wheels, two wheel drive. And sandals on, open toed sandals on a rocky path. But she's on her holidays. Was just uh, cooling his feet off in the water. Oi, don't do that, new. Well, I followed a footpath all the way out to the end of this road. Somebody said there was a tea room in the I'll go back. Nice view though. Sorry about the wind. It's uh, a bit windy. The sun's out, the red arrow's coming.
Monday morning, uh, back from uh, my holidays. Had a couple of days in Anglesey. I've just played you the video so you can see that. Uh, back to reality now. We've moved some sheep already when we got back, and now we've just loaded uh, three heifers up and a cow. And uh, it's uh, bake all day again, so got my sun hat on again because it's going to be Scorchio. Not had much sleep last night due to the heat and humidity. Uh, and currently uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and it's 16 degrees already so it's going to be a hot one today so uh, plenty of water for us just waiting for the Duke he's uh, doing his paperwork and passports and then we're off so uh, yeah so if you've enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time so uh, see you later <laughs> Buzz is ready for bake, well. <laughs>